Hillsborough County. A great place to raise a family, build a career, and grow a business. Our economy is thriving and we have the highest job growth in Florida. Our schools are among the best in the nation. And our entertainment and leisure options are endless. So what connects all of these precious assets? It's our transportation system. Our current system has served us well for many years, but it is struggling to handle the increasing demands being placed on it today. If we want to maintain our quality of life and compete with other regions in the future, the system needs to be upgraded. In other words, things will only get worse if nothing is done now. Transportation matters. That's why we want you to carefully consider some possible transportation solutions that you will hear about in a moment. First, let's hear from a few people whose stories may sound familiar. Meet Giovanna, a typical college student, struggling with the decision to stay in Hillsborough County or to leave for better opportunities after graduation. Our transportation system directly affects this decision. What other issues does she face in the future if transportation options aren't addressed? I love this school, I love my area, and I've made great friends. But when I graduate, I may have to move to a city with more transportation options and higher wage jobs. Retaining our college graduates and enticing graduates from other areas around the country is what will help strengthen our economy in the future. Meet the Donovans, a typical family facing multiple mobility challenges. Dad works for a local tech company. Mom owns a small flower shop. And the children are enrolled in local schools. What issues will affect them if the transportation system remains status quo? I have a great job, but it takes me 45 minutes to an hour to get to work every day. And I have to be on time, which means I have to get up earlier and spend less time with my family. My business is dependent on quick local delivery and traffic conditions can raise my vehicle and labor costs. When one of the kids are sick and Diana, she can't leave the shop, so the only option is me. And I have to ask off early from work and that just causes stress in my life. Business owners require staff and without enough transit options, their options for a quality workforce are reduced. Family time is very important, and if the transportation grid causes such delays on a daily basis, then families will have much less quality time together. Joe and Edith are typical seniors with simple yet extremely important needs. Without safe, reliable, and affordable transit options, their quality of life will be greatly reduced. We don't drive, so we just need to find an easier way to go to the grocery store. As it stands, we can only carry one bag per trip if we walk. It seems lately that our lives revolve around one doctor appointment after another, and the time that it takes to get there and then get home again. It would be a lot easier if we had safe, reliable options. Yes, and I wish we didn't have to be so dependent on our daughter to take us to all of those appointments, or the salon, or even the mall. At times, I think it would just be easier if we never left home. We need to provide mobility options that meet the special needs of our seniors so that they can live their lives safely, independently, and with a high quality of life. So how do we improve our transportation system to accommodate everyone's needs? With faster, more convenient premium bus rapid transit service delivered over the next few years, and long-term transit solutions over the next 10 years along major transit corridors connecting downtown Tampa, West Shore, the airport, Brandon, Temple Terrace, USF, New Tampa, and South County. Dedicated lanes already planned and under construction by FDOT on major highways will significantly reduce transit times. And these transit solutions will be designed to connect with surrounding counties and link to privately developed high-speed rail service from Orlando. Intermodal transit centers in downtown Tampa and in the West Shore TIA area will combine seamless connectivity for travelers with commercial, retail, and residential development to create a walkable and livable city's environment. The premium fixed guideway bus and rail system will be complemented by more convenient, 
expanded Metro Rapid Service, and Circulator Bus Service in communities around the county over the next few years, including revitalized and more extensive downtown Tampa streetcar service. Recognizing that our transit and transportation system must be integrated to provide the best customer experience, numerous improvements to roads and intersections will create speedier connectivity to move travelers to and from transit hubs. Improvements to basic roadway infrastructure will not only emphasize speed, but safety is first and foremost in our minds, especially for bicyclists and pedestrians. Finally, a host of sidewalks, bridges, trails and streetscape improvements around the county will ensure quality of life and safe mobility for all residents. This is truly an exciting time for our community and our region as we design and deliver much needed mobility solutions that meet the needs of all residents and invigorates an attractive climate for job creation and retention. Your elected representatives have been hard at work developing proposed smart transportation solutions with accountability, transparency, and with public input. This is the recipe to ensure renewed quality of life and economic prosperity. Smart transportation means access to multiple transportation options, reliable and consistent service, and a fair price paid by all who benefit. It means putting safety first and taking care of the transportation infrastructure we have. Most of all, it means delivering mobility solutions that will meet diverse community needs, now and in the future. In the end, it's ensuring value for you, your business, your family, and your community. Step two, identify possible funding solutions. This will prove to be difficult as current funding sources, such as the Community Investment Tax, have been committed through its expiration date in 2026, and gas tax revenue is flat. Government spending per capita has declined by 20% since 2007. Though the reductions have made us more efficient, it also means that there isn't much left for new projects. First, there will need to be greater investment from the federal government and the Florida Department of Transportation. In addition, there will be greater reliance on fares and tolls paid by transit riders and by drivers who may choose to pay for premium services, such as dedicated hotlines. Public-private partnerships will produce revenue sharing opportunities generated by commercial and residential development near and around transit stops. Even with all these creative funding solutions, this vision will require a dedicated, strong and equitable funding source, like a sales tax which must be approved by voters at referendum. A one cent sales tax will produce an estimated $6.1 billion over 30 years. Generally speaking, the more you earn, the more sales taxes you pay. And the added advantage is that visitors and out of county workers who use our transportation system also pay the sales tax. So for us to help our students, our families, and our seniors, as well as retain our future workforce and provide for a better quality of life, even as more people move to our community in the coming years, we need your help. Imagine a future where high wage jobs are created here at home and our local talent and students are retained in our community. Imagine those students years later inventing products or creating new businesses both of which will create new jobs and new opportunities in our area. Imagine living in a place where you know your children will have great opportunities. Opportunities for education, for jobs and careers, and for quality living. Imagine those same kids getting married and having children of their own, and everyone contributing to the ongoing betterment of our community. And finally, imagine your twilight years knowing you will have safe, reliable transportation options that will allow you to live a full life, long after you give up the wheel. Our investment and dedication to improving our community today will provide us with the opportunities and choices we need for a successful future. Where transportation goes, communities grow. For more information on the plan or to see potential projects, visit hillsboroughcounty.org slash TED. We need your feedback and input. 
and we want you to be well informed. That's why we want to know what transportation solutions you most need. Safer, faster, and more efficient choices. And solutions to ensure our continued economic prosperity.